Hello fellow numismatists and coin enthusiasts. Welcome back to our numismatic journey. In today's captivating episode, we're diving deep into the world of rare coins, uncovering 16 hidden treasures that hold the potential for substantial premiums. If you're passionate about collecting coins or simply intrigued by the allure of numismatics, you won't want to miss this exciting exploration. Hits that subscribe button below this video and let's get started. Number 16. This is 1967 Roosevelt dime with double die obverse. Graded as AU53 by PCGS. The doubling on obverse letterings are the slightest so you would need strong magnifying glass to spot it. Also this specimen comes with collar die clash, this doubling on the western rims, otherwise called railroad rim. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $600. Number 15. This is 1941 Jefferson nickel struck on a cent planchet. Graded in mint state 61 brown by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, the obverse impression is flush to the left border, the reverse to the lower border, the peripheral detail in the opposite area is incomplete due to the size differential between the cent planchet and the larger nickel dies. Virtually all design elements are at least partially discernible, nonetheless, the date readily evident and most features bold. Richly original antique copper patina with flint gray outlines to most devices. Scarce, and sure to catch the eye of major mint error enthusiasts. It was sold for $1,020. Number 14. This is 1947 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1947 P. Jefferson Nickel is one of the more common issues in the series. Only in MS66 or higher is it scarce. With the full steps designation, it is also common up to about MS65 condition. In MS66 full steps it becomes scarce with a probably no more than 1 or 200 examples known. In MS67 full steps it is really tough to find and less than a dozen or so examples exist, with few or no examples known in better condition. This specimen with full steps, ended up selling for $1,140. Number 13. Here is 1936 Washington Quarter in PR66 condition. Nicely preserved specimen out of meager mintage of 3837. According to NGC, unlike the proof quarters of 1937 and later years, the 1936 edition was coined with dies taken from the same hubs used for currency coin dies. These dies were polished to give them a mirror finish, but they were identical in design details to the dies used for ordinary coinage. The brilliance of 1936 proof quarters is not equal to that of later dates, as the mint was still developing its techniques for such pieces. Gems of this issue are in limited supply, and very few examples have been certified higher than PF66. This example was sold for $1,260 on September 19, 2023. Number 12. This is 1943's Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as VF20 by Annex. While centered on the dime planchet, the Lincoln cent design is fully appreciable with moderate, even where that is commensurate with the assigned grade. Wispy hairlines and a somewhat glossy texture are noted for accuracy. A scarce wrong planchet error that is particularly desirable due to its association by date and type with the famous 1943 copper cents. It was sold for $1,440. Number 11. Here is 1954 D. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark. Graded in mint state 66 plus read by PCGS and affirmed by CAC. Most 1954 D. cents were well made in terms of strike and die state, but spotting and staining is common for this and most issues of the 1950s. Several repunched mint mark varieties are known for this issue. The triple punch D is also known in a later die state, LDS, in which one of the extra mint marks has been eradicated from polishing of the die to extend its life. This one was sold for $1,680. Number 10. Moving on with this 1951 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition with full steps. Billowy mint luster blends with delicate champagne pink iridescence on both sides of this beautiful gem. A semi-key date issue among 1950s Jefferson Nickels, the 1951 D was produced to the extent of 20,460,000 pieces with examples rare above the basal MS66 FS grade level. It was sold for $1,680. Number 9. This is 2000 P. Sacagawea Cheerios dollar in MS66 condition. 
According to Stax Bowers, a premium gem example of one of the most fascinating and rare modern varieties in existence, this frosty piece has surfaces free of spots, toning, or handling. Early in 2000, General Mills, makers of Cheerios breakfast cereal, coupled with the U.S. Mint to place new Sacagawea dollars in boxes of their cereal and heighten the nation's awareness of the coin. Some 10 million boxes of Cheerios were part of the promotion, each containing a newly minted Lincoln cent. Another 5,500 boxes also contained a 2,000-dated Sacagawea dollar. This M66 gem with enhanced tail feathers ended up selling for $2,160. Number 8. This is 1968's proof link and scent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as PR64 cameo by NGC. A rare wrong planchet error involving modern US mint proof coinage. The scent design is well centered on the dime planchet, all devices sharply rendered with a frosty texture that contrasts markedly with deeply reflective fields. Bright and brilliant with outstanding visual appeal. Although the San Francisco Mint was engaged in striking both proof and circulation strike cents in 1968, the facility struck only proof dimes that year. It was sold for $2,520. Number 7. Here is 1968's Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition with full steps. Outstanding technical quality and eye appeal of this underrated strike rarity in the Jefferson Nickel series. Brilliant surfaces are fully lustrous with a delightful softly frosted texture. Impressively sharp in overall detail, this coin would do justice to the finest collection of the type. It was sold for $3,120. Number 6. This is 1942 Lincoln sent in PR66 condition. Very nicely impressed and kept proof penny with ultra cameo contrast. According to NGC, 1942 was the final year in which proof coins could be ordered as singles, and sales of the sent out paced complete proof sets by more than 10,000 pieces. This is the more readily available of the 1936-42 issues in top grades, and it is also the one most likely to be seen with varying degrees of cameo contrast. This one was sold for $4,387.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5. This is 1969 Lincoln cent double struck on a Canadian 10 cents planchet. Graded in mint state 62 by NGC. A dramatic and rare double mint error, this Lincoln cent is not only struck on a planchet intended for a Canadian 10 cent coin, but it is also boldly double struck with several degrees rotation between impressions. Remnants of the first strike are boldest along the back of Lincoln's portrait, at the date, and along the upper reverse border. Brilliant semi-reflective surfaces with the basic link and scent design fully appreciable despite the error. It was sold for $4,320. Number 4. This is 1938 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. Available in lower grades, the 1938 proof Washington Quarter is conditionally rare in PR68, and no numerically finer pieces are reported by PCGS. According to Heritage, this registry set contender displays beautiful mirrors and satiny relief elements, with pristine overall surfaces. Lovely iridescent toning graces each side. It was sold for $5,760. Number 3. Moving on with this 1914 S. Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. A remarkably well-produced, carefully preserved example of this underrated issue among early date Lincoln sent issues. Richly original surfaces are bathed in a blend of warm golden brown and autumn orange, direct lighting calling forth the most vivid color. Fully struck throughout, the dyes have also imparted a delightful satin texture that remains as smooth and inviting as the day of production. It was sold for $4,560. Number 2. Here is vividly toned 1959 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. Most condition census Washington quarters from the 50s are dramatically toned, and the present superb gem is no exception. Vivid blushes of cherry red, aquamarine, and orange patina alternate across lustrous and unmarked surfaces. It was sold for $17,250. Number 1. This is 1926's Lincoln sent in MS64 plus red condition. This San Francisco scent offers exceptional quality and eye appeal for an issue that is rarely seen with full red color. Both sides of this vivid beauty exhibit dominant pinkish rose color, the peripheries adorned with warmer reddish-orange. 
It is sharply struck and has a satiny and smooth appearance that is suggestive of an even higher grade. The 1926S has a low mintage by the standards of this series, with just 4,550,000 pieces produced. It has long been regarded as semi to full key date issue in all grades, and the vast majority of collectors have settled for a worn example due to either availability or cost. This rare specimen was sold for $43,200. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.